Brendan. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about kit bashing. So let's know what kit bashing is. Uh, so you know those model kits, those like planes, those trains, those cars. Um, what kit bashing is, when you open up the box, there's a bunch of pieces inside, uh, there's a bunch of cool decals, there's an instruction sheet. Kit bashing starts when you take that instruction sheet you throw it away. <laughs> Just toss it, burn it to the ground. <laughs> and then, here's the gag. The gag is, you then take other model kits and you add them to your own. Wait, what? So what's going to happen when you add in the pieces from that John Deere tractor? <laughs> that wagon, that plow. What's going to happen when you add the pieces of that Gundam robot? <laughs> So yeah, kit bashing is when you take pieces from different model kits and you remix them in ways to kind of create new things. Um, one of the more famous examples of this is the Star Wars movies. Um, the model makers would just buy up shelves full of model kits and they would just pick and choose pieces from them. Uh, so like in the scene where Luke trains against the laser ball, if you look closely at the laser ball, you'll find that those little shiny bits, those are just car hubcaps. <laughs> Basic car up gaps off the shelf. Uh, if you look at the uh, five wing fighters, if you look at the detail work, they're just pieces from World War II tanks. They're pieces from car engines and other things. Other things such as this pentacles container. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was young, I was really into making model kits. This is like one of my boxes of models that I made. I was also really into video games, which explains why I tried to make the taxi from Crazy Taxi. <laughs> Um, but what I want to show was this thing that I made. I could not find a better picture, this is the best picture to find. <laughs> At this time, I was really into a game called Command and Conquer. Okay. And there was a vehicle called The Buggy. And I was like, I love this vehicle. I gotta try to make, I gotta try to kit bash my own. Um, and the way I did that was by taking place in Sprue. So what Sprue is, uh, so when you buy uh, a bottle kit, and this is like, this is like one of the things in the box, a bunch of pieces. What sprue is, is after you use all the pieces, you're left with sprue. This is just the plastic that holds all the pieces together. And so by using sprue, and by cannibalizing this poor guy, I made my own little doom buggy. And like, for 14 year old Brendan, this was a transformative experience. I had no income. I was literally a small helpless child. I was still able to create something new. And it kind of taught me to consider the leftovers. It kind of taught me to consider the discarded pieces, to consider uh, the crumbs that fall from people's mouths when they eat, and then to take those crumbs and then leave me alone because I'm going to be busy making stupid stuff using these pieces, these pieces that are unwanted, that are unloved, and hopefully giving them a new home. Thank you. All right, everyone, that was our demo night. I'd like to uh, thank our speakers, Zarin, Laura, Brendan, Swati, Evan, Yo-Yo, Natalie, Rachel, Tanya, Helen, and Alejandro. I'd like to thank Natalie for uh, announcing our speakers. I'd like to thank uh, the demo night and Glitch City organizers, Ben Esposito over here on sound, uh, Ben Vance, Brendan Chong, Edwan, Russell, Alex Preston, Rachel, and the rest of Glitch City. Uh, I'd like to thank Indicade and congratulations to anyone who helped uh, put on the Indicade booth uh, this year at E3. Woo!